Okay guys, um, this is the mini scorer program for Mac and with this program you can do a lot of cool things about snooker scoring. Um, this little scorer is basically designed for video streaming and there are two modes of operation. One is manual and the other is automated. So we'll quickly go through the manual settings here. Um, on the little scoreboard, is, which is a floating window, uh, we can enter the names of the player. And um, oh, put it in the wrong place. So we can type the names on the scoreboard, and we can change the size, the color, and the font for the players. And if we don't want to put the full name on the scoreboard, we can actually um, change the format of the players. So with just an initial, or just the first name, or just the uh, surname, or or the full name. So you can change a lot of things on the scoreboard by simply um, selecting what you want on the scoreboard. And there is a frame clock, there is all the titles, up, upper and lower title. So if you have a sponsor, you might want to type the titles here. And you can change the design. So when I click those little um, design theme, the scoreboard will change accordingly. And if you want to add the points um, one at a time, you can click the little arrow. So when I click this arrow, it will get updated like that. Or I can decrease the point as well. So if I made a mistake, I can bring the score down as well. Or if you want to add, um, say, 10, 15 points at a time, you could do that. So if I want to add 10 points to the player on the right, I can just click the green 15 digit here. When I click this, this will get 15 points updated. So this is how the mini scorer works. So basically it is very simple. Um, now I'll show you how to get this into the, your video streaming program. So I'll start the OBS here. Now we have a video feed here, but there is no scoreboard. So what we not want to do is to overlay this mini scoreboard onto your video streaming program. And to do that, I will go back to OBS here and I will add a layer that says a window capture. So give it a name. And now I have to select this window as the overlay. So um, of off the list here, I'll select the scoreboard window and that gives me the scoreboard. So now I have a new layer in OBS and I have a very nice dynamic scoreboard. So it's very simple and I can change the size in OBS as well. If I think it's too small, I can make it bigger. And now um, when you add a point here on this scoreboard, that will get updated instantly. So I'll show you. If I add the point on the right hand side, and that will get updated. You see? So everything synchronized together pretty well. And if I change the, the name of the player, I can do that here as well. So something like that. So everything get updated in real time as to operate. So this is very handy. Now, um, you might see that um, this doesn't look perfect um, for two reasons. One is that the upper title, I mean the, um, the, the title bar on top, is to still appear on the um, video streaming program and we don't want that um, to be seen. It doesn't look too good. So what we do is to add a filter on this layer. So we select the filter and we'll add a crop filter. Okay, and now we'll get rid of the top title bar. So to do that, we'll select the top um, parameter and then we'll add uh, maybe around 20 pixels. And oh, I got the minus, so I'll just type 20 or maybe 21. Yep, 22. So that 
get rid of the top and if I want to trim the right I can do that too um, that's the right parameter here so I can trim the right hand side I can trim the bottom and I can trim the left hand side as well and when I'm done I'm, I'll close the window and you see the title bar disappear so it's pretty good now another thing we want to do is to get rid of the background color so that color doesn't look too good I want that to become transparent so to do that I'll go back to the um, um, control panel and observe what the background color code is and then I'll enter the code into a filter in OBS so on in OBS I'll get to the menu select a filter and this time I will select a um, another filter called color key so we'll select color key this time give it a name and now we have to select a color but we want to pinpoint the exact color on back uh, of the background so we'll select custom color off the menu and select color now we can type the exact value of the color so that will be very precise so we will want to we want to copy that color from this uh, control panel into the uh, color key filter so that's it that reads 950EF1 so I'll type 950EF1 okay now you see here you see the difference here the purple niche background um, disappear so which is very nice so I'll close the window now you see this is very beautiful without the color with the purple background so this is more professional this way and I again I can change the design to suit my uh, taste so this is very simple we have this um, video streaming software working with mini scorer and the score will get updated in real time now I'm going to show you another thing if you have a um, pro score scoreboard running on a PC um, you can actually pair them together so you don't have to have someone sitting in front of the Mac control the uh, little scoreboard Hiya. This is Michaela Tapp here. And I'll show you Welcome how. Welcome to ProScore Snicker and Bojan Scoreboard. Now, first of all, back to the mini scorer, we have to make sure we are in automated control mode. So that's the automated control. And you have to tell the scorer where is our ProScore computer. So we have to tell the IP address from the top right corner of the uh, ProScore computer. We'll enter that value into the uh, IP address box here. So on the mini scorer, we will type the uh, IP address and we will click the pair button. So we will click the pair and click yes. And then the two computers pair together. So that was just a confirmation. Now they are paired together, which means when I, when I change the score on the scoreboard, this will get updated automatically okay. let's say if I start the clock here and you will see the changes on this scoreboard now I start the clock player one to break and you will see that uh, the clock get up the, um, I mean the score um, appears on the scoreboard because the clock is now running now I will add some points here and you will see that um, right in the uh, streaming software we have six. the score get updated. Player one, six. One, eight, nine, sixteen, seventeen. And one of the other very cool thing is that when the break exceeds 20 points, let's say, then it will pop up with the balls. That shows how many balls he ported during the break. So now we have 17 points here. When I add another 7 points, you will see that um, there is a pop-up. 24. With the balls that he actually ported during the break. So 
when he keeps Five. potting, now he's potting a blue, and let's see what happens here. 30. Now we get a blue on the scoreboard, so it, 31. it worked everything out by itself, and I don't even have to touch the program on the Mac, because everything is controlled by the PC here. So that means if I have a remote control, a remote keypad, 35, I can keep adding the points 40, while I um, ref the game and I can just um, control the PC and then the PC will control the video streaming scoreboard. 48, player 2, 48. So this becomes almost completely hands-free and you don't have like one person sitting in front of the, uh, the video streaming computer and another person keying in on your um, pro score scoreboard because all you have to do is to use a remote control and you can do everything um, from the remote control. What? So the advantage is that um, when you don't have that many people involved in operating the computer or the software, you get less error because people could key in or they could type a wrong number. They would get like um, all kind of different uh, problems that uh, that would um, get the score wrong or whatever. But if you are in total control with a single keypad, there is almost no chance of making a human error in the process. Three. So the score will always be synchronized and the score will always be perfect as long as you operate the remote Nine. control properly. Ten. So there is less chance of making error and you do have a, an audio feedback from ProScore as well as you heard it. Um, no, Michaela is telling me the score and when I finish the break here. Player 1, 11. It actually tells you what break you just made. So this is um, all kind of automation that makes the ProScore software or the solution very attractive. Is that because it's scalable and you can expand with the little scoreboard that integrate into your video streaming program, and you don't have to ask or beg someone to operate the uh, the mini scorer for you because they are all synchronized together. So um, this is the basic um, introduction to the mini scorer as well as the uh, the pro score synchronization. So. Um, if you have any question, um, feel free to um, contact me anytime and I'll Five. give you the answer. Um, oh, just one last thing, um, you can actually reposition all the elements on this little scoreboard here. So if I, I want the, the, the name of the player a bit further to the left, I can do that. And if I want the, the lower title a little bit further to the left, I can do that. And if I want to move the clock, I can just drag this around and make it suit your own purpose. You see what I'm doing here? I can actually drag everything to different places. And the reason of doing that is that um, you can actually import your own graphics into the scoreboard. And you, don't, you are not limited to these designs here. You can actually import a different graphics. So, um, I don't have many here, but um, I'll just uh, just select a random graphics, okay, and now you see, um, now this this has a completely different background. I just imported a picture um, into the um, scoreboard, and it is six. So it gives you Nine. something completely different, and. Uh, so that means you can import your own design, you can make something very nice and then you can put it into the scoreboard and you can move the elements around Yep, like that And you can still operate the scoreboard from my remote control. 11, 14, 18, 
and um, the score will get um, get updated here. You see? That's the black. That's the last ball. Okay, so um, that's a basic introduction to the um, to the new solution. And now the mini scorer is available on your Mac. So um, if you're interested, contact me and um, I'll uh, send you a link to the trial version um, because it's just finished and I don't have time to put this on my website. Um, so you have to contact me to get the link. Thank you. Bye bye.